Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Devotional for today, Friday 29th, January 2021. And our topic for today is quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. Uh, Bible text is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verse, verses 16 to 26, but I will read verses uh, 16 to 23. So I'd like us to read together. And it says, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants you to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the spirit wants. And the spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the spirit, you are not under the ob obligation to the law, under obligation to the law of Moses. When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Our memory verse is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19. And it says simply, quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. So to our topic for today basically talks about um quen not allowing the spirit of god in us to be quenched but first of all we need to before we go into that we need to understand what it means to quench something when you quench something you put out something and it's usually used when we're referring to putting out a fire and interestingly enough um, the holy spirit of god is fire he is fire and he dwells in us as long as we are believers, as long as we've given our lives to Christ, as long as we are children of God, we have the Holy Spirit in us. He's dwelling in us. Um, a number of times in the Bible, God showed up as fire. We remember uh, Moses and the burning bush, that was God present. In the New Testament, um, during, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit showed up as tongues of fire above the heads of the apostles. You know, but as, as I said earlier, the Spirit of God dwells in us. But there are certain things that can quench the, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And those things were mentioned in uh, verses 19 and 20 of the, the Bible reading that we just uh, read together. You know, um, envy, lust of the flesh, idolatry, you know, so many things. Everything sinful, basically. These things quench the fire of the Holy Ghost in us. So it's very important that we avoid these things. But there are certain things that can keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning in us. And these things are like fellowshipping, fellowshipping, anything that connotes fellowshipping with God, fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. It could be praying, it could be fasting, it could be, you know, praise and worship. Awesome. You know, when, when we do these things constantly, we, we, we dwell in the presence of God. The presence of, God, the, of the Holy Spirit keeps burning in us, keeps increasing in us, keeps growing in us. And it is very important, it's very important that the presence of the Holy Spirit dwells in us because all those things we mentioned, all those things we read initially, you know, lust, idolatry, um, outbursts of anger, you know, malice, all these things, we, by our own flesh, we cannot avoid them. But with the presence of the Holy Spirit, then we can overcome these things and, you know, stay away from things that um, are, are sinful. God doesn't like sin. The Holy Spirit is light. And light and darkness cannot dwell together. Sin is darkness. So when we have the presence of sin, when we have sin present in our lives, it can quench the Spirit of God in us. So I want to encourage us today that at all times, we should avoid sinful things. At all times, we should do things that keep us close to God. We should do things that keep the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in our lives. It is very important. If I believe that this, um, uh, this video has been a blessing to you, so please just go ahead and like the video and subscribe, subscribe to this channel so that you keep on getting um, more videos like this. Have a beautiful day.